I'm Adam Dobson. Um, I'm trying to become an architect um, and during my time at university uh, I found a bit of free time to make a Lego version uh, of Charlton Stadium, the Valley. Um, all my interest really lies in, in stadium architecture um, and so my research really looks at the, sort of the social value of stadiums and, and sort of unlocking that sort of hidden potential uh, for, for what they can become. I've been a Tolkien fan for, for as long as I can remember. Me, me dad and granddad have always um, yeah, all, all, always gone to matches together. Um, and it was actually it was when, when uh, my grandfather passed away. Um, it was sort of the, the catalyst to, to make the, or, or to start this kind of project. So there's, there's approximately 20,000 uh, Lego bricks. I started off just making the East Stand, so that's the stand that um, me and my dad and my granddad always used to sit in. Um, and so I just sort of started off with that and trying to work out how to get the lettering of, of the valley. All the way through university each summer I made uh, a sort of an extra stand um, and then I was fortunate enough to get a job with And Architects. Um, they're the architects who designed Charlton Stadium um, and so it, 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 it helped in that sense of getting the job and it part of my portfolio. Um, and in the bits when I've got a little bit stuck um, on, it was quite nice to have the actual floor plans and details of, of the actual stadium to refer to. The, the process in, in sort of designing it was uh, a slightly odd one. I know it, I know the stadium very well from being a fan and going there every other every other Saturday. But um, it sort of began from like the inside out, so sort of looking at the inside of the bowl of the stadium and then sort of working out proportionally making sure that I had every gangway, I had every vomit tree, um, and then the lettering on the seats to make sure that I could, I could get those kind of details. Um, so approximately, it's give or take with, with Lego bricks, it's not that accurate, but it's one to 200 scale. Um, so it's about 200 times smaller than the actual stadium. And then it was a case of, sort of looking at Google, Google Earth and sort of Google Maps and kind of see like the 3D view you can get on that. And then yeah, sort of looking at images and trying to match it. I've tried to get some nice, nice elements in it, so I, like the roof and stuff can be lifted off, so you can see some of the details uh, a bit clearer um, inside, uh, so fans, fans to enjoy. I sort of built it over a period of four years, uh, and then sort of had that sort of time on furlough, I sort of finished it off. So the last two years, it hasn't, hasn't really, uh, it's just sort of been sat, um, sat, sat in my parents' house. Um, about, about time I finally <laughs> um, yeah, tried to put it out there.